Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to install Instagram on your Mac desktop. So I'm recording this on the M1 MacBook Air 2020, which uses the Apple Silicon, which allows us to run native iPhone or iPad apps, depending on whether they're available to download on the Mac App Store. So if I look at the actual Mac App Store and search for the word Instagram, um, I'm actually not able to find any official Instagram app on the store. So we have to find a way around this. On the top right hand corner of the screen, I'll have a link to a tutorial video where I show you how to use the app iMazing to install iPhone and iPad apps on the Apple Silicon MacBook desktops. So um, once you follow that link and you've paired the device, um, I'll show you how to actually install Instagram. So you go to the iMazing app and run the trial. And when you've connected your phone or iPad, you can go to the Manage Apps section. And once the app list has loaded, you can um, do a search for Instagram. And um, because I've downloaded this already, we don't have a download button. But what you do is you click Download. And then when it's ready, you would Control click on the bar export the .ipa file and put it inside a folder. Once it's inside a folder, we'll um, double click on it to install the application, which I'm gonna do now. Then the application will appear inside the applications folder where we can just double click on it to open it. So I just want to show some of the functionality of Instagram. Um, it's a fully featured Instagram application, so it can do everything that the iPhone version can do, including making posts through the webcam. So if I show you now, if I press plus here, and I've, I've got access to all my iCloud photo library, which is below me, or the entire camera roll. And if I click on the camera app here, I actually have access to the laptop webcam, which is, um, really cool functionality. And you can also post stories, reels, live, etc. It's all available to use as if it's the iPhone app. Also, if you need to grant permission for this app to use the camera or microphone, all you need to do is go to the system preferences, click on security and privacy, and then go to the microphone and the camera sections and click the left box next to Instagram to allow it to use your webcam or your microphone. So um, this really improves the workflow for some people. So instead of having to transfer a photograph and then edit it on your computer and then transfer it back to the phone, you can do it directly from the actual app itself here. So um, I, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.